what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video today we're talking about the los angeles lakers and the whole lebron james thing that's been going on and what the comments he's made and what everyone is thinking he's thinking like it's just a whole bunch of stuff so today for the fun of it we're going to be doing a trading lebron james lakers rebuild let's go so for context of this video clutch points just released an article literally 10 hours ago talking about how the warriors would be in a great position to trade for lebron james the bidding war was going at some point the warriors in a great position because they give you the young guy they can give you the young guys like wiseman kamenga Moses moody pat baldwin whatever the lakers want but you have to add either pool or andrew wiggins and that's not easy but if they want to win now they can give up pool and if you are getting back lebron Right, yeah, and if they keep Draymond Green, come back with Steph Curry, Stephen Curry, Clay, Draymond, and LeBron, that'd be fun, a fun team to watch. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this trade and have Jordan Poole or Wiseman or whatever it may be on this Lakers roster going forward. Let's go. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props app that allows you to choose overs or unders on your favorite players that you enjoy watching each and every day. It is available on mobile or desktop, and this is how it looks. They give you the number, and you're going to choose over or under on it. They pretty much have every sport you can imagine, whether it's soccer, NFL, NHL. They have a ton of different options. So this is how it works. You choose between two to six players, two being three times your money, all the way up to six players, 25 times your money. Price Picks has just elevated my watching experience to a whole new level. So if you want to sign up, I also have some of my entries as examples here. That way you can kind of see how it works. But if you want to sign up, links in the description, use code CRUSHABLES. They match your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. Thank you, Price Picks, for sponsoring today's video. So as you can tell, we do have Jordan Poole and James Wiseman and also Patrick Baldwin on this Lakers team. So we've officially traded LeBron James. I just did this trade LeBron over to the Warriors for Poole, Wiseman, Patrick Baldwin. So the Lakers essentially, if they were still, or not the Lakers, if the Warriors were still going for championships, which obviously you do if you're, you know, you're going to have Stephen Curry playing at an elite level probably for a couple or three more years, I would imagine. Add him with LeBron James. I think that could be worth it. I don't know if you'd trade Jordan Poole, though. That definitely is uh, tough to sell your fan base on because Jordan Poole seems to be like the future of the team, obviously. But, I mean, if you have a lineup of LeBron, Steph, Wiggins, Clay, I mean, like I said, you could bring back Dray Draymond theoretically, but LeBron and Stephen Curry would be just a ton of fun to watch. But we're focused on the Lakers side of things. We have AD still, of course. You have Jordan Poole, James Wiseman, Damian Jones, Max Christie, Clearly, this team still needs some help. So with the idea that we just traded away LeBron and got Poole and Wiseman, clearly we're still in a, in a, a spot where we can still win games because Jordan Poole is still a very good player. Don't get me wrong. AD is still a great player as well. Don't know if I want to sell. Man, he was only averaging 11 points per game during the season. That's crazy. I don't, I don't know what that's about. But free agency time. Uh, we do have some money now as well on top of everything, which is really nice to know. So now we have uh, no point guard. You have Jordan Poole, Max Christie. We did draft Amari Bailey uh, with the 30th pick in the draft because the Pelicans got the 30th pick overall because they always won the championship. So now you have AD and James Wiseman at your center spot. So what we could do is move AD to the four because you know he loves playing power forward. So we can move him there. I think I'm going to try. I'm, I think I'm going to keep Anthony Davis. I theoretically could trade him, but uh, might as well just keep him right. He could be the face of LA, I guess. So this is kind of an unorthodox rebuild in a way, but we do need a point guard and we need a small forward. Uh, pretty badly which actually theoretically i think jordan Poole could play point guard his playmaking is a little underrated uh you know i know he averaged a lot of turnovers this year but uh you know he's made some good passes in the past so my shooting guard is probably gonna be austin reeves i think that's the best thing to do there so really we need a legitimate small forward in my opinion so we have money to spend uh, fred van bleed would be a nice addition don't get me wrong you have dinwiddie and then you have like chris middleton which that's cool and all but i don't know if i want chris middleton brooks you got barnes josh hart Josh Hart's always a good player. And then you got Lonnie Walker out here as well, who I forgot about. Uh, but my favorite get uh, would be like uh, getting Kyle Kuzma, which would be nice. You have like Grant Williams, Jonathan Isaac. Actually, now that I look at all the free agents that are available. My favorite one, ooh, Yaka Pertle would be kind of cool as well. How much cast space do we have? Okay, 23 million. So we're going to have to get to the point where we have to renounce Lonnie Walker and Reeves. But uh, Fred Van Vliet actually might be a nice get. Or even D'Lo. Bring back D'Lo to the Lakers. That'd be kind of interesting. Russell Westbrook still out here. Wants a lot of money. Trey Jones. Not a bad point guard. There's actually a lot of ways I can go with this. I'm trying to make sure I spend my money in the best way possible, though. Clarkson, Malik Beasley. Uh, so if we're going to have Jordan Poole playing point guard, Austin Reeves is going to be our shooting guard. Lonnie Walker. 
going to bring him back, probably play some shooting guard as well. So it's really the small forward spot where we're really lacking. And I actually kind of like the idea of like Josh Hart, right? Josh Hart's not going to cost a ton. And I think he brings exactly what this Lakers team could want. And like I said, he's usually, you know, a really good role player. So going to go Josh Hart. It's not the most sexiest sign in the world, but I think he's a nice addition and it's going to have our depth looking nice. Could sign Mike Conley as well to 18 million. You have Oubre, Clarkson. So we can still make some good signings. I'm going to make sure I bring back Lonnie Walker as well. So I'm going to use my cap space on Lonnie Walker. Then Austin Reeves. I think I can go over the cap space to keep Austin Reeves. So now that we have that done, we still have $11 million we can spend. Kevin Love, Drummond, Olenek. So we still get a very good player, it's looking like. So take a look real quick. You have Lonnie Walker listed at small forward. I'm going to move him to shooting guard. He does go down, but I like him there a little bit better. So Poole is at the point guard. Yeah, Lonnie Walker, the two. Josh Hart at the three for now. AD, and then you got James Wiseman, which we just got to hope he develops. Uh, then Damian Jones. I don't love the roster so far, but we're getting, you know, we're working on it. So shooting guard Reeves, uh, small forward is going to be Josh Hart. The center spot is where I kind of wonder, maybe we should just get like a power forward and have Anthony Davis stay at center because he does play the best. I and mean, this team is the best when he's playing center, right? So Grant Williams could be a really nice get as well. I think he could be a phenomenal role player. So if you look at the roster now that we've done this signing, if we get Grant Williams. Am I going to have to renounce Austin Reeves? Ooh, I'm going to have to. Well, actually, I know there's a way around this. So the one thing I will do is I'm going to trade Damian Jones. Salary dump. Let's get rid of Damian Jones. That way I can, I can keep Austin Reeves, go over the cap to get him back. I'm going to trade Damian Jones to Brooklyn. They can't take him. Can anyone take Damian Jones for a second? Philadelphia can't. Somebody just take him off my hands. That's all I'm asking for. Wizards, you got it? There you go. Thank you. All right, boom. Got that done. Now... We should be able to keep Austin Reeves. So Grant Williams is here. And then simply all we need to do now is sign Austin Reeves. And it says we can give Russell Westbrook 20 million, which I'm not going to do. Uh, but we can still sign a pretty good player. But I think I'm going to leave the rest of the money open for Austin Reeves. Which, uh, by the way, I think they finally put a face scan for Austin Reeves in the game. So that's a W. Love to see that. And then I think that's going to be it. So, well, I guess I could theoretically sign one more player if Reeves just come. Oh, it might actually make me renounce Reeves now that I think about it. Uh, so I'm going to move AD to center. That's going to happen. So AD is going to go back to center. I thought I was going to play him at power forward, but I'm not. So Wiseman will back him up. You'll have Austin Reeves start at the two. Uh, we have Lonnie Walker as a backup shooting guard. You don't have really a backup small forward. You have Baldwin as a backup four we're going to have to rely on. So I think we need a small four the most. So Damian Lee, Reggie Bullock, Hamdi Diallo, Eric Gordon. We're not on day 12 just yet. Might get a steal on day 12. Russ is, you know, lowering his money a little bit. Gary Harris, uh, Ross, you got Lance Stevenson. So you could theoretically play Terrence Ross at your backup or McDaniels at a small forward spot for like literally so cheap. Give me McDaniels. Yeah, that is a W. And we get Austin Reeves. Boom. That's a W offseason, in my opinion. So now we have a really good list of a team that's relatively young. The oldest guy we have is Anthony Davis. And then obviously Josh Hart, which he is tradable at any point. His contract's not even that bad. Wiseman is up, but the team is relatively young. And I think this team could still come out here. It could be for championships, which is the beautiful part about everything. So interesting off season. We're kind of balancing the young part and trying to win now. Still, if this team is struggling and uh, there's like, we probably should just trade AD. I'll do that, but I'm going to let, you know, I'm gonna let it ride for a little bit. So AD and Jordan Poole, one of the most duos you don't think, I don't think we'll ever see that do in real life, but regardless, having some fun here in 2k. Obviously, I'm just desperately waiting for trade season at this point in my YouTube uh, uploading schedule right now. I really need trade season here badly. We are currently 22 and 33 here at the trade deadline. So yeah, it might be time to maybe look into trading Anthony Davis away just because clearly this roster is just not going to be good enough to win a championship. I thought, you know, Jordan Poole AD could be interesting, but it's just not working out. So if I did throw Anthony Davis in the trade finder, I can get Tyrese Maxey and Tobias Harris. Imagine a, imagine an AD and Joel Embiid front court. Could that work? That is interesting. I will say that. Garland and Jarrett Allen. Okay, these trades are kind of crazy. Trey Young and Murray, Hero and Bam, Sabonis and Grant, RJ and Brunson, Kyrie and Benedict Matherin, Victor Webb and Yama and McCollum. Imagine the Pelicans traded for. Wow, I just realized Pelicans have Victor Webb and Yama. We're not winning championship in this video, by the way. Siakam, Scotty Barnes, Devin Booker, Mikel Bridges. That's crazy. And then we have to throw Jordan Poole in, though. Chelm, Grant Porzingis, Shaden Sharp, and Damian Lord. All right. My favorite one is this one. We can get Tyrese Maxey. Maxey and Jordan Poole could be very interesting. Obviously, I like this one as well, but that just sounds too crazy. This one is way too crazy. 
And then this Miami Heat one I actually find interesting, but this one's too crazy as well. I think it's between getting Maxi or Hero. I think that's who I want. So Hero and Jordan Poole as a backcourt could be very interesting, actually, which uh, he's averaging 25 points per game this season. I don't think like, obviously this video isn't like the craziest, re craziest realistic video in the world, but I think getting... I don't think you can get Tyler. I don't think the Miami Heat would give up both Bam and Hero. I think you can get away with maybe getting Hero. I think that's what we do here. So that's my goal. I'm going to move AD to power forward as well. That way, uh, the Miami Heat don't have to worry about it. I'm going back to that trade. We're going to go AD for Tyler Hero. Let me see if I can build something here. AD for Hero is not bad. So clearly, they need more money. And one thing they do have is Robinson's terrible contract, which is nice. And then I'll give you Kenya, Keelan Martin. So... AD, Keelan Martin for hero. Obviously, I want more. First round pick, first round pick, and first round pick. So, I walk away with three first, and you, and Tower Hero, you get Anthony Davis to go on your championship run with Jimmy, Bam, and Hero, or Jimmy, Bam, and AD, which I think could be very fun. So, offering this up, they do not agree to it. Okay. Immediately, they say no. Uh, if I throw in Max Christie, they don't agree. If I throw in a second, they don't agree. Another second, boom, just like that. We get Tyler Hero on this Lakers roster with Jordan Poole. So now we have our young backcourt of the future here with Tyler Hero and Jordan Poole. And Wiseman immediately moves to center. So that is our trade deadline. So we get rid of Anthony Davis, which is kind of interesting, but we'll roll with it. So now Josh Hart's our starting small forward. And then Doc Robson's contract is going to come in handy this offseason with those picks we just got. So... We're already in a good position. Let's keep simulating. So not the direction we want, or not the season we wanted, obviously. But hey, having 20, 26 from Hero and 23 from Jordan Poole is immediately a great sign. Lonnie Walker with 15, and then Grant Williams with 13. So honestly, I really like our young core, how it is. And we can only add to this, really. That, that, that's the beautiful part about all this, is we can throw in Josh Hart's contract, Duncan Robinson's contract, and all those picks to get another really good player here. So this offseason... We might be able to turn into a championship contender just like that. It's that simple. But the problem is, as we know, like I saw earlier, the Pelicans currently have Victor Webanyama, which is kind of scary, obviously. So looking at the draft lottery real quick, just to see maybe if we're in here somewhere, it looks like our pick is not well. The Pelicans still own it, apparently. So that is going to suck, which they have the 10th overall pick. Oh, yeah, this isn't a pick swap this time either. But we got the Miami Heat's pick. Uh, Rocks get number one, Spurs number two, and Knicks number three. So shout out to them. Staff signing, let's take a real quick look. Darvin Ham, I'm fine with him being the head coach. He's got some badges on here, so no need to get rid of him. And then if we get a post D coach, we're good there. And boom, we got that done. Let's go to draft night. And this is where, like I said, Robinson and Josh Hart's contract really comes in handy because there's going to be some teams out there selling, and we already have a lot of really good role players. We're loaded with role players. Does Robinson have an option or is he still under contract? Boom, that is great. So $19 million and Josh Hart is going to be like 12 mil per year. So really, you got Lonnie Walker, Grant Williams, Wiseman, Reeves, uh, McDaniels, all as good role players, which I love. So we're already in a good position. If we can get one more star here as a forward, I think we're in a great position. So that's what we're looking for. A forward who could be, you know, elevate this roster even further, who could maybe fits the timeline of the roster a little bit as well. The so Ben Simmons, yeah, I could get him theoretically. Porter, I mean, I'm good on that. Uh, Heal, Jalen Smith, no, not really. You know, Zion Ingram, obviously, it'd be great, but they're not doing that. Sadiq Bay, nah. Barnes or Siakam, Barnes would be cool, but I think he's free agent. Jabari always would be interesting, and they're selling. You have like Keldon Johnson, not really the guy I'm looking for though. Mikhail Bridges, uh, you got Pokoshevsky, Porzingad, you got Cat. Harley Towns could be interesting, theoretically, if the Timberwolves were going to um, start selling, if they were. Uh, they're buying right now. I don't. I haven't gotten Cat in a while either, so I kind of like the idea of that. We add Carly Towns with this roster. You got Jay Crowder, Joel Embiid. That's not going to happen. So Cat right now is my number one guy. DeRozan, maybe if LeBron was still here, you know, we've got Brown, Tatum. Those guys are always interested. Kawhi Paul George, cool, but... Uh, you got John Collins, who's always fun. AD, Bam out of Biles in front court's great. Kuzma and Markinen, Lloyd Markinen, always fun. Jeremy Grant, yeah, he could be great. RJ, I just got him yesterday. So, yeah, I think my favorite guy to go for is going to be the Timberwolves, to be honest with you. Cat, I think, would be a lot of fun. He's not untouchable. They are buying, though, so it's not like they're selling. So, it's not going to be the easiest thing to pull off, but actually, 
he's making 50 million that might be a little too much let's see we have uh josh hart's contract yeah we're about uh, 34 million off so you might have to throw in one of our role players here to get this done nine million dollars uh mcdaniels i guess would be the expendable guy and then do we have anybody else we have amari bailey down here so i don't even know if this would go through i'm gonna offer 2025 and 2027 i don't know if they're gonna accept this they probably won't i don't think yeah never mind cat's too wishful thing he's making way too much money we got to go for somebody a little less you know a little cheaper so i've narrowed my options down as much as i possibly can for four that i can get before we get past a draft where guys aren't or teams aren't going to be selling anymore john collins uh, is kind of nice but i think my favorite one to get honestly is going to be who was i looking at again uh ingram would be great but i don't think that's gonna be possible i kind of like the idea of keldon johnson he's cheap and uh i mean i was shooting for the stars with carnley towns obviously but i don't have the assets for it uh so like a keldon johnson would be a really nice third guy to have next to pool and hero six five small forward i'm gonna try to get keldon johnson i guess that is my guy so might even be able to keep Josh Hart as well. We can trade him for something different. So I'm going to throw Robinson in here for this 23rd overall pick. And then this future 2026. They don't agree to that immediately. That's fair. I'll give you Amari Bailey as well. who will probably turn into something eventually. But we're trying to win a championship. So all this for Keldon Johnson. They do agree. Gave up maybe a little too much. But I think he's going to be a nice addition. So he fits exactly the same timeline as these guys as well. And we're loaded with role players and obviously just kind of relying on development. So got that going for us. And now we can go straight to player options because we just traded our pick. So player options, Patrick Baldwin, Gorman, I'm accepting both uh, qualifying offers, Austin Reeves and Wiseman. Both guys I want back in the worst way. And then, I mean, might have money. No, we don't have money. So I think we can just get Wiseman and Reeves back. That's probably the best way to go in this route. Uh, so we can also sign another really good bench player, which is nice. So we got Hero, uh, Lonnie Walker, uh, Jordan Poole Hero, Lonnie Walker. We have Kellen Johnson, Josh Hart, Jalen McDaniels. You have Grant Williams, and then you don't really have a center. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to trade Josh Hart for something. So let's throw Josh Hart in the trade finder. A lot of player movement. You got Alec Burks, got Terrence Mann being offered to me. I need a front court player in the, you know, specifically big man. So I get like Nick Richards being offered to me, which I think is a nice addition. Uh, Chris Boucher, you got Cameron Payne, Daniel Gafford. I like, I always love getting Daniel Gafford. Really solid backup center. So, yep, sign me up for that. Gafford, welcome to the team. And now we can simply wait on Wiseman and Reeves. And then we can sign a free agent as well. So, that's probably the game plan. So, uh, point guard, Monty Morris or Theo Maladone. Alex Caruso, bring him back. Got Clarkson, Grayson Allen, Reeves, which I'm bringing, obviously bringing them back. So, really need a backup point guard or a backup. Or, no, I guess we don't really. Yeah, backup power forward, backup point guard is really what we need. So, power forward, if Anderson, Jay Sean, Tate. O'Shea Brissett. Give me my, I mean, give me Theo, I guess. He's uh really young and he's a 77 overall already, so he should develop. So now we just wait on Reeves and Wiseman to up their con. I mean, do we just give Wiseman his extension already, I guess? Sure, why not? Keep him around. It's four year that's based off a of potential. It's really just potential off that contract. Reeves, I'm of course waiting on, and this will be our roster. So Reeves is back. Player progression, you got Hero, Jordan Poole, Kelvin Johnson, Gafford, Wiseman, Lonnie Walker. So it's going to be an interesting uh, season. I don't know what to really expect. Hopefully this team can surprise me. I just realized we had two backup shooting guards, so I didn't really need Theo. That was kind of redundant, but whatever. It is what it is. So going into this next season, maybe there's a trade, the trade deadline we can make still uh, with, uh, you know, Daniel Gafford or something. We'll see. I'm excited. I think this team could make the playoffs. Maybe surprise us all and win a championship. So at the end of this season, we actually made the playoffs at 48 and 34. The third seed in the West. I mean, I don't really know what to expect this year. I don't know if we win a championship. We have a pretty collective group of guys. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I think this team is still one, getting one superstar player away from making the trade, you know, making something happen. So if things don't go very well this season, I think Keldon Johnson's on the trade block and I try to throw him in a trade for a massive massive player i think that's the only thing we can really do at this point but we'll see how these playoffs go first so minnesota we got cat go bear we know what we're dealing with uh we obviously have wiseman grant williams and we also have wiseman's contract now that we could trade away maybe for a really good center if we're not trading Keldon johnson i guess so that could be something we could look at so we current round against minnesota and we are going to beat them in six okay so we beat them in six and we're moving on to round two which is a really nice sign and memphis got upset by the Denver Nuggets. So we're in a really good spot. KCP, Jokic, obviously, clearly a really good player. The Nuggets are a good roster. Game one, we do beat them 1-0. Uh, 
34 and 99 from hero 22 and 10 from pool hero and pool are legit two to zero 109 to 80 reddish only 14 that is a joke of a box score for the nuggets only scoring 80 points game three they win game four they probably win as well yep they're right back in it we do win game five though 167 122 could we be in the conference finals game seven we lose unfortunately so we lose uh unfortunately losing game seven we got the nuggets and the wars which is an ac to wars the pelicans actually got upset that might have been my best chance to win a championship like yourself lebron james which that could have been fun as well if i played lebron james in the conference finals man if only we could have won if only we could have won but you got the nuggets and the warriors and you got the nuggets making the finals which some i don't see very often so yeah i think i'm going one more off season here i think we trade james wiseman i think we keep everything we got right now Try to trade James Wiseman for a legitimate big, na a big man. I think that's the best thing we can do. I would really love Jarrett Allen. I think that's who I really want to put on this Lakers roster. If I can get him, I would be so satisfied. So I'm going to throw in all my assets to try to make this happen. They do believe they're a contender though. So I don't know if I'm going to get this to go through. Going to keep offering as much as I can. Uh, this is my way of just essentially going for it. And boom, we got Jarrett Allen. So now we have Jarrett Allen as our star center, I guess you can say. Really underrated center as we know. So now he is on the roster, and I think I'm keeping everything else the same. And now we can move like Lonnie Walker, Austin Reeves, the point guard, or whatever. So Reeves or Lonnie Walker, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll move Reeves there, I guess, it uh, doesn't go down. So those guys will be our backup guards. McDaniels, I'll probably try to bring back if I can. And then Baldwin will probably keep developing. And then you have Gafford and Jared Allen. So running it back another season. Almost got to the conference finals. So just got to bring everybody back. We should be golden. Going to sign Baldwin. And he should be a huge part of what we do next year. So last year of running it back, 51 and 31 on the season. I don't know if we win a championship as the fifth seed. <laughs> we draw Victor Webb and Yama in round one. So GG, or good luck. I won't give up just yet. But 16 and 12 from Jerry Allen. 15 from Lonnie Walker. 13 from Johnson. I actually feel pretty good about the roster we built. There's a lot of good role players here. And we try to get star value. I mean, a team led by Hero and Jordan Poole, I mean, it's interesting to think about. I just don't know if it'll ever be like that. I mean, it's a really nice, interesting backcourt, like I said. But you got the Pelicans who have Victor Webb and Yama and Zion. So the odds of us winning this series, well, we'll see. So I'm going to current round, and uh, we're up 3-2. to two. We beat them in six. Okay, never mind. We actually won. And now we get the Denver Nuggets who actually beat us last year. But I kept clicking somebody through game. Maybe if I click somebody current round, maybe this will go better for us. Somebody round. And never mind, that was not true at all. So, shout out to the Nuggets. I guess they're the team that stopped me. Uh, I mean, they got the eighth seed. I lost to an eighth seed. And the Timberwolves go on to win a championship over the Bucks in seven. That'll be how the video ends. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Trade season couldn't come soon enough. Your boy is dying for it. But thank you guys for watching. I'll probably do a 10-year rebuild tomorrow, I think. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love